Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Tiffany. I just wanted to say thank you for all of you guys who have subscribed to my channel. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, today is not going to be a video on a makeup tutorial. I'm going to be talking about the Ben Nye powders that I've been um, talking to you guys about in the past few videos of mine. Um, I thought it'd be a good time to go ahead and do this video. Um, I haven't been around for the past couple weeks. I just wanted to enjoy some quality time with my son before he and I go back to school. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing. But um, I'm going to try to knock out some more videos, as many as I can, before I go back to school because I'm going to have a busy, busy, busy next few semesters. And, yeah, um, I hope you guys can understand that. And I am going to try to do videos whenever I can and try to, um, you know, make that happen. But today I'm going to be talking about the Ben Nye powders that I have. I have nine of them total and I started collecting them maybe about a month ago, maybe about a month and a half. I'll just say about a month and a half. And up to about two weeks ago, I got about, um, I want to say about three more in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the darkest shades that I have. I'm just going to do that because I only have two of them in the darkest shades. And I don't think it's the darkest shades that they have. And I'm going to go ahead and mention this now just in case I forget. I have purchased all of these powders, all nine of them, from one particular seller on eBay. And I will give you guys that information towards the end of the video. And I will post it in the um, description box for you guys. The first two um, dark shades that I have... The first one is nutmeg, and it looks like this. Hopefully, you guys can see all of these powders. Um, for some reason, they have the tendency to change the overall picture or quality of the video when I show them. But um, this nutmeg shade is more of a brown tone compared to some of the other powders that I have. Hopefully, you guys can see that. And um, the reason why I'm mentioning what type of tone they are because some of them are more of like a yellow tone and um, that really does mean a lot to me because even though I'm a darker skin female um, I am yellow undertone and a lot of the powders that have a red undertone make me look really red and they make me look darker than what I am for some reason and I don't know if that happens to everybody I don't know I don't know that's just my experience with um, that kind of stuff, and that's the reason why I'm mentioning that. But this nutmeg, nutmeg shade um, works really well on my skin tone. And I use this one. I do not want to highlight. I just want something to um, even out my skin tone. Just, you know, throw on some foundation and set my foundation. This is what I'll put on if I don't want any highlighting effect or whatever. Um, the second darkest shade that I have is called Chestnut. And this one's more of a, maybe more of like a brown, but kind of like reddish undertone, but not very dark in the red and undertone. And I'm going to hold it up against nutmeg. This one's nutmeg, and this one's chestnut. Hopefully you guys can see the difference in the shading. But I can say about this chestnut, it does work with dirt. Excuse me. It does work really well with my complexion as well. I guess maybe because these are translucent powders. Um, I haven't had any issues with any of them that I have. And, um, yeah, I, I just really do love all of these powders, though. And I'm probably late on the bandwagon of, you know, discovering them. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, the next one is called Sienna. And I have tried this one, but um, let me see. I'll show you the, let you, I'll just go ahead and do this because I don't want to confuse anybody. But Sienna, it is more of, I want to say like a yellow undertone. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it has like brown in it as well. And... Like I said, this one works well with my skin tone as well. And I'll let you guys look at that again. Um, the next one I have not, I'm going to go ahead and sort them out so that way I can tell you guys exactly which ones I haven't used for all over application yet. Because these are the um, 
late the newest ones that I have received and I haven't tried them like all over my face but I did just you know try it to test to see if it how it blends in with my skin and um so far it does blend in nicely just like the other ones that I have used and the first one I'm going to show you out of the lightest three I say that I have is clay hopefully you guys can see that and it looks like that and um yeah I really do love these powders I'm going to go ahead and hold them up to some of the other ones that I've shown you guys already this one is sienna and this one's clay and I'm going to hold clay up against another one that I just got not too long ago. And I haven't tried this all over yet. This was called Dolce. And there's a difference. Dolce is lighter, as you can see. And I'm going to put clay down and show you guys Dolce. And this one's really light as well. But it still blends in nicely. Um, the next one is called Olive Sand. Looks like this. And um, as you can see, they all come with sifters. And another thing about these powders, when I received them, um, they do not come with safety seals. As far as I know, they do not come with safety seals. So... Um, I don't want you guys to get them home and say, oh my gosh, somebody tampered with it. Should I use it and, or possibly contact the seller or whatever? Because every single one that I have does not have a safety seal on it. And I'm assuming that they, that they come like that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you olive sand against maybe nutmeg. So that way you guys can get an idea of the shading. I'm going to try to post some decent pictures so you guys can see the difference in the shading. Um, my favorite one, and this is maybe the second color that I purchased when I first started purchasing the Ben Nye, because I started off with the neutral set, the colorless one, and I'm going to talk about that towards the end. And this one is Topaz. I absolutely love this shade. Um, you guys have seen it on me, like in, I want to say, Rock Meets Glam video that I did, the makeup tutorial. And I think the ones after that I have used this shade in particular. And as a matter of fact, that's what I have on now. And I really do love this one because, like I was saying, I'm yellow undertone, and this just really brings that out. It gives me, like, a smooth, like, glowy effect, and I just really do love it. And it makes my skin look really nice in pictures. And this is, I want to say this one's my favorite, favorite one out of all the powders. Even though I do like all of them, I don't have anything against any of the other ones, but this is my favorite one. And I will hold that up against, let me see, I'll just hold it up against chestnut so you guys can see. And I'm going to, I don't know if I really need to open it up because you guys can get an idea of what it looks like on me. But that's what that one looks like. And um, I just showed you guys a colorless one. This one's a neutral set. This one's the first one I purchased. It's a white translucent powder. They're all translucent powders. Um, this one's the first one that I purchased because I didn't know what shade I should get in the powders. I didn't know how they work. So I hopped on YouTube to um, look at some other people's videos to see if they actually showed it and what it looks like on them. And then I just went from there as far as purchasing the um, powders. But like I was saying, this one's the first one that I had purchased. And... I got that because, like I was saying, I didn't know what shading I was, and I wanted something that um, could set my foundation that can tone down the shine because I do have issues with oily skin, and hence that's the problem with the whole acne situation I have, and I, like I said, I have done a video on that, and I've talked about that before, but um, I know a lot of people say that they have um, translucent powders or companies, I should say, that say it's going to be... Um, that it'll match any skin tone, and I found that that's not true. But I can say with this one, um, 
it blends in very nice and I'm a darker skin African American and I'm going to give you a comparison that probably everybody's familiar with which is the MAC I am NW45 in MAC and I use NW45 in my powder I do not use their foundation as I was told by a dermatologist I shouldn't um, you know it's not for me but um, as far as like my skin issues but um yeah, I, I use the MAC Studio Fix and I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I tend to buy concealers that are the same as my skin tone and just use foundations or um, something like that for like highlighting. But um, yeah, I love this powder because it is truly translucent. I haven't had any issues with it leaving a white cast on my face. Um, when I apply it, like some of the other translucent powders do, um, I have used this all over my face before with my normal foundation, which I either use the Revlon Color Stay, and I'm mahogany, and sometimes I mix it with one a little bit lighter than that, depending on what's going on with my skin. Um, I use the L'Oreal hip line in the Sable 82 their foundation which I believe is discontinued but if you're lucky enough you can find it in your Dollar Tree um, I've been lucky enough to find it in the Dollar Tree stores so um, yeah as far as I know it's discontinued but I'm pretty sure they have a good match right now with the L'Oreal launching all these new shades for African American or darker skinned women I just put it that way but um yeah, this one's good for starting out if you don't really know which direction you want to go as far as purchasing the powders. Um, I recommend the Nutraset. It's going to be a little bit weird. You're going to be like, oh, it does leave like a white overcast. But once your um, skin starts to absor absorb the powder and the oils and stuff start to mix, it's going to blend in nicely with your foundation. And you're going to be seeing a difference in if you have oily skin like I do. Um, it is going to tone down the oil and help actually control it. I'm not going to say you can go all day without touching up because I've had to, but I would just recommend a good primer. Per, um, probably get one that has like an oil control like mixture with it. Um, that's what I do. As far as like primers and stuff go, I use two of them and I use the L'Oreal Geller. Um, sorry, the Laura Geller. Um, spackle and I have this one which I guess this is just her plain one and I ordered this off the of QVC I'm not sure if they still have them up there I'm pretty sure they do and I have a bronze one which I think that they only come out with certain times of the year but as far as I know this one is pretty much avail available I got this off of QVC which you guys know is the shopping channel um, on TV and I also use the black radiance um, Complexion Perfection Shine Control Primer, and this I picked up at um, a super Walmart that carries the Black Radiance products, and that's where I picked up all of my Black Radiance products that I use in my videos. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys can find it online easily. I don't really think this is an issue of finding Black Radiance powders um, and products, but um, what I'll do, because this one doesn't have like an oil control type of um product in it i'll use this one first and on top of it i'll put this in the areas that i tend to get really oily which is of course the t-zone areas for me so um i'll use two of these but or the both of these together that's what i usually do and um yeah um let me see oh i forgot one powder I'm sorry, you guys. I'm all over the place. I have so many powders. I'm just trying to stay on track and then give you guys as much information and how I use it and what it's good with and all that kind of stuff. But before I forget, um, you guys are probably used to seeing this, which is the banana powder. You guys are pretty um, familiar with it, I'm pretty sure. But this one's a banana powder. Um, a lot of people use this for highlighting. That's what I've used it for. I haven't applied it all over my face. Um, yet um, I don't know if I'm going to do that since I do have a lot of shades and the colors that um, work really well with my skin tone I'll probably just continue to use this like underneath the eye and where I apply highlighting um, on my forehead nose and 
chin and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I got the big size in this. Um, I believe this was like twelve dollars, and I think um, shipping was like two fifty. I believe on this, and as well as this one, and these two are three ounces, and it, that is eighty five grams for these two. And the other sizes I have, I have, and these, they look like they're the same size, but they're actually not. But this one is 1.5 ounces, and this is 42 grams. And the one in the topaz that I just absolutely love, this one is 1.41 ounces, and this is 40 grams. But I must say, um, you might look at these powders and think they're really big on camera, these in particular. But um, they're not as big as you think they are. However, there is a lot of product in it, and it will last you a very, very long time. You really don't have to use a lot to um, set your foundation. And, yeah. So it might not seem like a lot of product or look like it or however it's looking to you on camera but there is a lot of product in these and I'm just going to hold it up against my hand so you guys can get an idea of how big it is and hold it up against one of the big ones so you guys can see the difference and as you can see there's a lot of product in this one but yeah you guys I have nothing but good things to say about the Ben Nye powders I absolutely love them um, I haven't given up on my black radiance powders I think I just use those when I just really don't want to get all made up but just want to you know put on something to look nice and presentable um, but when I want to go out I don't go clubbing or anything like that but just go shopping or just um, you don't want to get fixed up or whatever I like to use the Ben Nye powders I just really do love these powders now they're my favorite and in particular I absolutely love the topaz shade um, I just recommend them for anybody of those for any of those who are curious about it um, yeah you guys should give it a try and I'm gonna go ahead and mention the person that I sold well, that I purchased these from off of eBay, and they're called, their store is called Life of the Party, and I will give you guys all the information you'll need to know to um, start shopping and picking up the powders if you are interested in it, and I hope this video was very helpful. I'm sorry I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm trying to hurry up and try to talk about all the things that you guys might be curious about and try to touch on all of that all in the same video. But um, I didn't do a video for this look, but if you would like to see how I did this video, then just let me know. Put it in the comment section, and I will try to knock that out as soon as I can. And um, I think I talked about all the powders that I have, which I have nine total. And I, there's, I want to say there's more than that. I'm not exactly sure how many um, Ben Nye makes of these powders, but um, that might be a good question for the seller. They probably can answer that for you better than I can, but um, yeah, the one good thing about them, not one good thing, I'm going to say something about the seller that I've purchased these products from. Um, they're really, really friendly. They answered all the questions that I had in a very, very timely manner. Um, they were very, very helpful. There's, I just say the shipping really set it off for me because a lot of times when you order stuff online, the shipping is like way more than what it should be and to get one of these powders which cost me six dollars and it was two dollars to ship it I just thought was excellent and the fact that I received a product I want to say within maybe three days maybe four days to me that's really good and um yeah they didn't come spilled or the package wasn't smashed or whatever, so I have nothing but good things to say about this seller. I highly do recommend them, and I can hope I can continue to get some more goodies from them, and I hope you guys do too. I'm pretty sure there's more sellers that you guys can, um, you know, look into on eBay. You know, there's so many people out there that sell different products or whatever, but um, like I said, I really do like these people, and I'm going to continue to purchase from them as long as they keep on coming out with some goodies. And um, I hope this video was informative for you guys. Um, I will try to put down all the information that I can at the description area. And um, I will see you guys soon.
and take care and God bless. Bye-bye.